If you take revenge, then do so only in proportion to the wrong done to you. Maxi Lopez might not have read the Holy Quran, but he has understood its wisdom. Maxi Lopez was the victim of one of the biggest betrayals in football history and was contacted by the Sicilian Mafia, who offered him their services to gain revenge on Mauro Icardi, a mysterious offer which he preferred to reject. But Icardi and Lopez's ex-wife Wanda Nara have put him through hell even now. There are questions which you think might be better left unsaid, but an Argentinian journalist dared to bring up the subject with Maxi Lopez on a television show. Is it true that the Sicilian Mafia offered you their services to get revenge on Mauro Icardi for marrying your ex-wife? What's even more astonishing is that Maxi Lopez didn't deny it. Quite the opposite. He preferred to avoid the subject with hints about what really happened. I'd rather not talk about this offer. It drives me crazy to see my children being used to hurt me. They have taken the phone away from them many times while we've been having a conversation. Betrayal, distance from his children, provocation. Maxi Lopez would love to wake up and find that it was all a dream. But this entire story is real. His former teammate and friend, Mauro Icardi, married his ex-wife and considers Lopez's children as his own. The betrayal is no longer fresh, but the scars are still deep. While his divorce from Wanda was definitely tough, it's the distance from his children which is now weighing heavily on Maxi. I only saw my children two times last year. I always try and talk with Wanda, but everything which is private ends up on social media, and the dialogue broke down a long time ago. We made an agreement with the judge, but it has not been respected. How was Mauro able to do this? The two were friends in 2012 when they were both playing for Sampdoria, a friendship which shattered into pieces. I'll tell you how it happened. What happened was Icardi stole his teammate's wife. The day before I left for a friendly tour in the US, I got a message from Wanda. I was surprised because I usually spoke with Maxi, not with her. She asked me if I could buy her a new iPad in the US. From that moment, Mauro Icardi seemed ready to betray his friend. That episode made me think, did Wanda really want that tablet or was she seeking an excuse to get in touch with me? When I came back to Milan, one of the first things I did was to get reacquainted with Wanda. The iPad was a perfect excuse. Even before his betrayal, Mauro Icardi behaved inappropriately towards Maxi Lopez. At the time, he didn't exactly have good intentions, but the worst was yet to come. We texted many times, and it was at that time that we started talking about us a bit more freely. One day, she wrote to me, Mauro, Maxi and I are going for a ride to the Aeolian Islands with Gonzalo Bergesio and his wife. Why don't you come with us? Of course I wanted to, so I went. But if you play with fire, you get burned. While I was alone on the second floor of the boat, lying on the couch and listening to a bit of reggae, Wanda all of a sudden came and sat beside me without any embarrassment. A stroke of luck from Mauro, who didn't waste a second in getting down to business. At that time, her relationship with Maxi Lopez was ending. I understood. A few months after Maxi Lopez and Wanda Nara's divorce, Mauro Icardi officially began dating Nara. But the story doesn't stop there. If that wasn't enough, Mauro Icardi has been provocative. In the press, on social media, he even tattooed the faces and names of three children on his shoulder. Valentino, Constantino, and Benedicto. Can you guess whose children they are? Maxi Lopez's. After all their history, who would dare get that tattoo? Who? Deplorable behavior which he made worse by publishing the photo on social media right after coming out of the tattoo parlor. With the caption, I love these three angels. These same angels who their father can't see. I have to always hope Wanda is in a good mood and I'm constantly fighting to be present in the everyday lives of my children. Cause right now I'm barely there. Maxi Lopez has to fight on a daily basis to see his three children. 
He sees them more on social media than in real life, as Wanda and Mauro regularly pose with them. He's publicly asked Icardi to stop posting photos of his children. He has to stop. I can understand that being a public figure, you're going to post photos, but I'm embarrassed when my children appear on it. A futile statement, which the Wanda Icardi couple have barely respected. The couple show off their love and stop Maxi Lopez from seeing his children. My children have asked me a thousand times, Papa, why didn't you come to the match? But Papa was at the match. He just couldn't see you. Or, Papa, why didn't you call? But Papa did ring you. Two years after the betrayal, Icardi and Lopez found themselves on the same pitch as rivals. Mauro tried to greet his victim with a smile on his face, but Lopez categorically refused to shake his hand. A tough but understandable decision. However, he doesn't hate him so much that he's willing to call in the services of the Mafia. And that might just be the wisest decision in this completely irrational saga. We also have a new channel. If you don't want to miss all the football news, follow Oh My Goal News and turn on notifications. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments.